Hello everyone, it's me, Henry Buxo. Welcome to my channel, Troubleshooting with Henry. Today's episode is about understanding local customs and practices. This topic is so important, I'll be discussing it over three episodes. In this episode, I'll be talking about differences in communication style and local traffic etiquette. When you're traveling, it's important to remember that you are in another country. People will have a different way of doing things. You are a guest and must be aware of their customs and practices. How do you learn these things? A great way to start is by observing what is normal in the country you're visiting. Differences in customs are to be expected. People say, do, and eat different things in different countries. You will always be recognized as a tourist, but you can be a respectful traveler by first observing and then following local practices when and where it's possible. Adaptation on your part is key. In France, a great example of a difference in communication style is the expectation that you'll greet people before you ask them questions, or when you enter a place of business, or when buying tickets, checking into a hotel, or even getting on a bus. If you don't do this, it may be offensive to the person who you're dealing with, and they, in turn, may not be polite with you. You're expected to say, Bonjour, monsieur, or Bonjour, madame, before you see anything else, then merci and au revoir when you leave. This is customary. If you do this, it's considered civil and courteous and is very much appreciated. As I said in episode number two on communication, it's a great idea to learn a couple basic phrases in the language of the country you're visiting. It will really help smooth your interactions. There are a number of examples of how you might find traffic etiquette slightly troubling, either when you're walking or in a car. For example, once after buying a baguette in a boulangerie in a small village, my companion and I stepped out of the shop onto a narrow sidewalk and were nearly taken out by a huge speeding bus. We had similar experiences on more than one occasion with delivery vans. Yielding to a pedestrian is not necessarily the norm in some countries. Therefore, it's up to you as the pedestrian to decide if it's safe to go. Streets are narrow. Cars, vans, electric scooters, and motorcycles drive very close to people much closer than in Canada. Be aware and be alert. And remember, that's just how it is. No one's deliberately trying to scare you. If you're driving in some parts of Europe, tailgating or following too closely is commonplace, not necessarily an act of aggressive driving. It can be unnerving to have someone driving too close, sometimes at high speeds. Take advantage of one of the many areas where you can pull over to let the tailgater pass. You'll feel more relaxed and have a safer journey. In many countries, traffic roundabouts are part of everyday life. These can be extremely confusing if you're not used to them especially if there are more than three exits and entrances. There are also double roundabouts, a roundabout connected to another roundabout. If you're planning on renting a car, study up on the rules before you go on your trip. If you're nervous or too uncomfortable, perhaps you should consider a cab. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. And as always, special thanks to Johnny Flynn for giving us permission to use his beautiful music. Happy travels!